All right, so we're gonna go over subtalar neutral. I wanted to give you guys a little bit better uh, view of this. Yes, I am working from home. That's why I don't have shoes on either. So here you can see that we've got the leg. We also have the heel. You wanna start off by making sure it's um, divvied up or you have the midline marked off. So if I were to look at her leg and just create a midline, I would say that this is the midline, all right? If I look at the calcaneus, I'm gonna to try to identify the midline there. So I'm gonna write my line. It, we're not looking at perfection here. This is what uh, you're trying to get. Now, for sub -tailor neutral, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab around the fifth metatarsal head. I'm gonna take my hand that's on the inside of her ankle and I'm gonna grab onto the tailor dome. I'm going to move in and out so that I feel equal prominence medial and lateral, and for her, it's right around here. From here, I'm gonna take my finger on this side and I'm just gonna pull it down. When I pull it down towards the ground, you see that she ends up going into a neutral dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. So I'm not pushing on this, which would change the forefoot alignment. I'm just pulling it down towards the ground. So full thing through, I look, first I get her into alignment. I would say that she's in a slightly calcaneal varus position to start off with. I pull that pressure down. I see if anything has changed. She's still in that slight varus to begin with. I wouldn't call this clinically important. And then from here, I look down straight through the foot. And I'm looking to see the metatarsal heads and see if there's a line that's created that's either in a um, varus position or a valgus position. Uh, if I do this, you'll see that it starts to create a little bit of a valgus. So I need to make sure I pull it straight down. Now I'm looking at that bisection angle here relative to the forefoot. And I would say that there may be a little bit of relative varus, but I don't think it's clinically meaningful. And it could also be that this line is not in the right place. And this adds to some of the variability and the problems with reliability of this measure. So let's go ahead and switch your feet. So give me your other one. We're not gonna mark the other one, but we're just gonna kind of show you the process. Slide a little bit over towards uh, this side for me, so that way. Slide a little bit that way for me. There, right there's good. So on this side, I'm grabbing onto that metatarsal head. I'm going to find my neutral right about there. Then I'm just gonna give it a pull down towards the ground, and that's what we're looking for. Forefoot, um, sorry, rear foot to shank or leg alignment, and then forefoot to rear foot alignment. 